50 the road's been here since about 1500. How do you know? Well, I don't, but I do know they've both been here since at least 1920, because that's when this postcard was taken, about 100 yards back here behind you. This little froggy here is standing pretty much on top of that manhole cover. This is the road here on your left-hand side, the footpath you're standing on at the moment, the wall running down here to your right. This hotel here is where they actually ended up building the bunker here in front of you. How do we know it's the same place? Well, apart from the fact the name of the village is actually written on the postcard, the little nick in the cliff here and the end of the cliff here should give you two very good little identifying points to show you where the picture was taken from. But just in case you still don't believe me, there's some of your boys, 175th Regiment, 29th Division, walking along the top of the wall on June 7th at about lunchtime. The nick in the cliff, the end of the cliff, that much smaller in this picture because this picture is actually taken about half a mile back here behind you. But I want you to come over here and I want you to sit on the wall, please, just here. Now, this is a really cool little picture. This one was taken in 1938, just after the French, being a bunch of communists, had voted themselves the right for everyone to have two weeks summer holidays. Here's a little happy froggy swimming in the sea. But before uh, World War II had even started. This is the road we just drove down here. This is the hotel I showed you in the other photograph, which is one, two, three, four sets of windows, or four stories high. There's all these houses on the same side of the road as the hotel. All these houses here on the other side of the road from the hotel as well. Uh, the house here with the little peaked roof on the front of it, though, is the interesting one to remember. 1938, before the war had started, but ping, we now fast forward to 1944. What's changed and what's the same? Hotel is still there, but now it's only two sets of windows or two stories high. All the houses on the same side of the road as the hotel have now been blown up by the Germans. All the houses on the other side of the road from the hotel have been blown up as well, apart from this house here and the house with a little peaked roof on it, but all the way up to the very, very top of the exit, most of the houses on the left-hand side of the road have been blown up. But this picture is taken in 1944, in April. This is after the Germans have finished building all of the bunkers. You can see down here to your left-hand side. So every one of these bunkers is in the picture. Yeah, lovely, brilliant. Shut up and tell us where they are. Well, if you look at this bit here, but much more closely, ping, you've got to love the magic of paint for windows. You've got the hotel just here, two stories high, the road running down here as well, and the house here with the little peaked roof on it. But the only bit of the German defences you can see is the anti-tank wall, not sticking out at 45 degrees to the left-hand side of the bunker, but running down almost parallel to the shoreline. But I showed you in this other picture back here, the anti-tank wall is actually tied into the front left shoulder of the bunker. But it's not. It's actually tied into the back left shoulder of the hotel. So a little bit of logical deduction will tell you that the only place that this bunker can possibly be in this photograph is... Down below. Inside the basement of the hotel oh. itself. You wouldn't really blame the guy in the tank for taking 10 minutes to spot where the anti-tank fire is coming from. The Germans built this bunker inside the basement of the hotel, put the gun inside it, punched a little hole in the basement wall to stick the gun barrel out, and then camouflaged around the edges of it to incorporate it all into itself. And this shows you the next big clangor in Saving Private Ryan is that when they're approaching the beaches that you can see any of the German bunkers whatsoever. Germans might not have been nice people during the Second World War. It doesn't mean that they were stupid. You do not build a bunker sitting on the coast and leave it sticking out of the coastline looking like a bloody bunker. You might as well paint a massive big target on the top of it and write shoot here in letters 30 feet high on the grass right next to it. The Germans had camouflaged everything apart from apparently the rabbits that live in Steven Spielberg's head and operate the levers. But Omaha Beach. The Allies landed on Omaha Beach on the morning of June 6th at low tide. They wanted to land at high tide, but they couldn't. Why not? What have the Germans done to the beaches? They got obstacles. Obstacles on the beaches. <clears throat> Germans had about 5,000 obstacles on every mile length of a saltable beach. This photograph here taken from the very far western end of the beach looking east, we're down here, uh, sorry, the eastern end of the beach looking west, we're down here at the western end looking east. And you can see the tide in this picture here almost fully out. You can see each one of the little blobs on the picture here is one of the obstacles the Germans have put on the beach. By landing with the tide fully out, you were going to land on a beach free of obstacles. What were the obstacles designed to do? Blow up landing craft. Sink landing <clears throat> craft. Landing craft were made out of plywood. 
one inch <coughs> thick. You're coming in, bouncing up and down on the waves in a landing craft which fully loaded with men and fuel weighs a round figure of about 10 tons. You go up on the crest of a three foot wave and you come down on an obstacle made out of wood or concrete or steel and it is going to go straight through the bottom of your obstacle, uh, of your landing craft like it isn't even there. I can't see the obstacles, they're too small. There you go, there's a close up. This is 6th of May 1944, aerial reconnaissance photograph. And you can see all of the Czech hedgehogs. These are the classic, most famous obstacles Germans have put on the beach. Did you ever try digging a hole in the sand on the beach when you were a little kid? And yep. what happens when you dig a <coughs> hole in the sand on the beach? It collapses in on itself. Germans are pretty good at it. How are they getting all these stakes <coughs> up here? Beats me. The answer is right here. <coughs> what is that? No? What is that? Close up of the answer. Oh, they're hosing it. Exactly. You get a stake six or eight feet long, you put the end of it <clears> on the sand.